But on this week's programme, we're looking to find a new car for Kevin, who's got a nice budget, up to £25,000 to spend on a new car. Something nice, prestigious, maybe sporty. He's already driven the Jaguar XK8, which wasn't too sure about. But this is the Boxster. Uh, yeah. It's got the right badge on it. Yeah. This, I think Start this is it up more and fun. listen to that engine note behind you. This is the Boxster S as well, so you've got even more power. Let's go for a spin. Well, Kevin, you said you wanted a sports car. You wanted to spend your money wisely. Some would say there's no wiser choice than a Porsche Boxster. I like it. <laughs> this is much more like as it. As soon as you set up, of course, a big oh, smile. Oh, yes, yes. It? This is fantastic. We've got some dry weather. It's not the warmest of days, but we've got the roof down. And yep. this is what having one of these cars is all about. This is what it's all about. This is what a great car. The response, this, the sound of the engine when you let it go. Absolutely. I and mean, that's the best thing. You're having the that's, roof down and listening to the engine yeah. because you can just hear that, that flat six barking away behind yeah. you. This is what it's all about. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a tad worried about the ownership of a, of a Boxster or what the service costs not are going to be like. It's not expensive. No. Oh, Standard right, that's servicing good. on a Boxster is somewhere around £200. So oh, right. It's not, you know, it's not that's much more as much than you pay thinking, for any yeah. other car, to be honest. Yeah, that's good. Obviously, insurance is something to think about. I mean, you're sort of in the Group 17, Group 18 wide. Yeah, I, I mean, as I say, I had a Jag before, and that was Group 18. I've really yeah. got, not got a problem with insurance. It's funny, I always felt that this is the sort of car that you'd have a hairdresser driving or something like that. But it's not like that at all. It's not. Forget no, about I'm, that image I'm convinced the now, yeah. Certain other, you know, two-seater roadsters do have that sort of girly hairdresser image, but the Porsche Boxster definitely no, doesn't. No, this, yeah, I'm convinced no now. This is, once you start driving it, this is serious. And it's a it's, car that you can use every day. Yeah, that's the good thing about you it. Know, a lot of sports cars, I mean, like a TVR or some of the Lotuses, you would say, well, I wouldn't really want to be driving it every day, yeah. and, you know, in the rush hour, but this is definitely a I'd be car. worried if I was like in a TVR and I got caught in traffic. Yeah. I'd, I'd be constantly looking at the uh, temperature gauge, but yeah, it'd be hard the work. reliability of a Porsche, I mean, it's, it's just the whole, you don't need whole to worry round about package. It. You don't need to just, worry about it. Yeah. Well, with more information about the Porsche Boxster, here's Chris. Some sports cars can be difficult and temperamental, a little bit like a stormy marriage. Sometimes you'll love it, sometimes you'll hate it. But this Porsche Boxster, say I do, and you'll be together forever. This is the Porsche Boxster 2.7, cost new £31,000. Running a Boxster should be like one long honeymoon. It's got decent fuel economy and the residual value on one of these is excellent. However, like all marriages, servicing isn't cheap. Standard on one of these, leather seats, alloy wheels, anti-lock brakes and climate control and the driving position is excellent and these seats give you the kind of comfort that you would only expect from a really good marriage. Imagine having a really good looking wife. If you should get divorced, you know there'll always be somebody else. The Porsche Boxster is no different. Get rid of it there will be plenty of used buyers clambering to get their hands on one of these. <laughs> <laughs>